the acceptance has increased um, as people gain more comfort of having women on boards and uh, value their participation. Uh, they are getting more comfortable in giving them uh, important roles, uh, chairing committees, um, you know, uh, in fact, audit committee chairs in some cases now are women. The many committees uh, are chaired by women. Uh, yes, of course, there are very few overall chairs of boards that are women, but uh, the acceptance has increased as and as the comfort level has increased, as I said, the mandates may require one woman director in India, but in many cases, boards have more than one woman director. Puneet Agarwal, thank joining this conversation. How has uh, increased representation of women on boards helped with essentially the hierarchy down the line in terms of having more women come in at mid-level or senior-level positions? Well, that's a great question. Um, you know, we have to be role models. And by having more women on boards, the employees get a sense of comfort that this company is valuing gender diversity and that there is a culture that is in um, process of change. So when you recruit women, uh, I think it makes it a little easier. Um, you know, the challenge is not, of course, at entry level positions. Hiring women um, and in entry level jobs is not a challenge because I think we, we often see in companies, they start off with 40 to 50 percent women employees uh, at the entry level, but that pipeline uh, becomes um, smaller and smaller uh, in terms of ratios. And by the time you get to senior level, mid to senior level, that number drops down rapidly to, you know, maybe 20 to 30 percent. So um, a lot of women drop out of the workforce for various work-life balance, you know, uh, requirements, etc. But definitely having women in on the boardroom, we are able to role model. Now I'm on the board of the CF Institute, which represents the financial community of investors. And while we find across the world that women portfolio managers are outnumbered by their male counterparts, but on the CF Institute, we've gone a step further and we've gone to having almost 50% um, women representation on the board. So we are trying to role model um, and set some standards for the companies um, by having women on boards. And I'm hoping that that will really improve diversity lower down.